Hey everybody, it's Jamie from Palm Island Sea Cab and I am traveling this week. So I have another work trip. I'm actually going to Kansas. There is no ocean in Kansas. So we are not able to make it to the beach to do a beach hunt video, but we've been on YouTube for a little over a year now. So since we have a lot of great content from those videos, what I thought would be really fun was to take you through my top 10 favorite finds. But what I found out is when I started collecting all of the clips, we have way more than 10. So I'm gonna take you through my top 20 favorite finds. We're gonna do that this week. And then next week when I'm home, we are gonna hit the beach and we're going for another beach hunt. But right now, let's do our top 20 greatest finds. Let's go. We're another scallop. So many scallops. Unbelievable. I can't help but sing about the shells today. Sometimes you just gotta sing about shells. We are on the lower rock line here where all these cute little tide trees are and there is a very nice piece of sea glass here. Looks like the bottom to a bottle. It's a nice aqua color. It looks like there's some really cool markings on the bottom of it, but you can see how the edges of it are very frothy. So I'm hoping when I pull it out that the entire thing is frothy and there's no sharp edges on it, which makes a really good piece of sea glass. So let's see. There is a little bit of sharp edge on one of the sides, but overall this is a really nice piece of frothy sea glass and we're going to keep this for our sea glass collection. It's a really nice ad. Just pulled this one out of the sand. So fantastic. This is a fantastic shell. I get really excited about shells like this with all these colors and pinks and purples and yellows and beiges. It's a great find. Oh my goodness, and more scallop shells. Look at the gold on this one. Look at the gold in that. And beautiful pink coloring. So I have mentioned this in my scallop video, which I'm not sure if you had a chance to watch it. If not, go back and check it out. But the top side of the scallop usually has a lot of color in it. And then the bottom side, which if this was intact, if it was hinged in the back, and have the bottom piece, it would look exactly like this, but pure white. And the reason why the tops are colorful and the bottoms are white is to camouflage them from predators on the ocean floor. So scallops can be very tricky. And you can see this is an Atlantic surf clam. And when you order like clam strips or things like that from uh, the restaurants or clam chowder, that tongue, that fleshy part right there, is the, uh, the piece that you get when you order your meal. Oh wow, look at this urchin. I can't believe I missed this before. I feel like I walked right by it. It's in awesome condition. Wow. It's an amazing condition. Look at that. So beautiful. So this storm is definitely not disappointing. Scallop shells that are still in. Ow, it's alive and it's closing right on my finger. Oh, holy cow, that almost got away. That is a banded dog log, and that is gorgeous. Dog logs are definitely a favorite shell of mine because they come in such a variety. Like this one is a banded one. They're also like dark, deeper brown ones. This one looks like it's sun bleached for a while, but wow, what perfect condition. Holy cow, I'm freaking out. 
Look at these. Look at the size of these. This is insane. And there's another one over there. Oh my goodness. The ocean is super rough. All of this really cool stuff is getting kicked up. I am like freaking out. Holy cow, do you see what I see? These rocks are amazing. It's like the size of a softball. To be careful, it's getting very deep here. Holy cow. Gotta be careful not to break it. What? Are you joking? What is going on today? Very cool blue crab. Crazy, insane, frozen surf clams. Post blizzard shelling does not disappoint. I keep turning my camera on and off just because I think I'm done and I'm not. This is incredibly insane. And again, I'm not looking my prettiest, but I need to give you some scale on this. Of this lobster claw. It's huge. It's enormous. So I found a message in a bottle after one of the tropical storms that hit the coast. I actually thought it was some debris or just like a glass bottle that had washed up. And when I looked closely at it, it had a handwritten note inside of it. Let me show you what I found. I found a message in a bottle. And um, let me show you it. And here's my bag. And here's cool sand dollar and shells that I found. Pretty cool. But, okay, I know it's not from pirate times because they did not have Simply Organics back in pirate times. Super excited about it. Message in a bottle, first one. We'll be back later. Maybe we'll open it together. Oh my goodness. This is a gorgeous find. Oh, it's broken. It doesn't matter. Look at the banding on that. Look at the banding on that. I am so excited about this. And if this is any indication of what today's finds are going to be like, let's go shelling. So look at the tide pulled out this section of the beach and look at all of this really awesome purple deep deep plum colored sand oh wow that is gorgeous i've never seen it so rich and so beautiful it looks like an abstract painting that must have been really beautiful earlier when the water was flowing down it. But it is like a plum colored river. I mean, even over there, you can see as you get closer to the dunes, it's really rich. Let's head over there, we'll check that out. Look at these crazy patterns in the sand. This is all that purple sand from the purple garnet and rose quartz. Oh my goodness, that's even so magnificent. I'm like filming and taking pictures at the same time. This purple, like I have to grab a handful. This is not enhanced at all. 
look at how purple that is. Look at this shell. It is incredible. And that is probably one of my most overused words, but <laughs> incredible. There's like no other way to describe it. Very, very good find. What did you find? Um, I saw it was like a something got fossilized, like in a rock. That is so cool. That is, um, so my mother, hi mom, sent us an article about that. Can you flip it over? Yeah, that's definitely what it is. So my mom sent me an article a little while ago about dolphin vertebrae discs. And yeah, it was part of their vertebrae. So it's like their spinal cord is made up of all the different vertebrae and there's these discs that are in between each one. And that's what that is. And it could be from a whale or from a dolphin. So you can see on the edges of it, all of, if I can focus in on that, you can see how it's bone because it's really porous around the edges. But that is a really very, it's a very, very rare find. <laughs> so this is definitely the shell of the day so this is a horse conch and it was found by my sister Tracy who's been in my previous videos and JJ explained to me how did it happen so she was walking along the beach and she felt something that felt like a rock she didn't know what it was so um, she started on digging it and she found that it was a shell so she, she was afraid that something was inside of it. So she got another shell and started digging it out. And then when she realized there was nothing inside of it, she was like, oh my God, this thing is huge. So this is what people come to Sanibel Island for. This is the horse conch. And they can grow up to, I think the largest one recorded is at the Sanibel Shell Museum. And it's 24 inches. This thing's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a very good size horse conch and it is going to look really beautiful all cleaned up that is that is the shell of the day so four days just four days after we left the cape an entire whale skeleton washed up on shore it was found by sally limerick who lives in rhode island who was up at the cape visiting I don't want to give the exact location because it is illegal to collect any bone specimens from any mammals that wash up on the beaches without a permit. But I can say we were right around the corner from this. So thank you so much for watching those awesome finds with me and I will see you next week on the beach. Bye!